Some prerequisites could not be downloaded. Maybe you can try to remove them from the prerequisite. Ah, it worked. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial video. So I know you guys still have a lot of problems when it comes to the SCP toolkit or with the strike pack in general. So I got my friend's laptop, which looks similar to mine. This is my laptop. Obviously, you guys know what my laptop looks like, like the layout. I just got FIFA actually. Da, 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 da. and mine is 144 hertz his is i think 120 i think his is 120 hertz so yeah it's not actually my laptop his laptop never had scp toolkit before it never had anything it never even had obs i had to download obs myself so guys first we're gonna go to the youtube and whichever video like all this playlist it has the link so i'm just going to the first not the first and the second one anyway you just go to the link in the description then you click on it it brings you to the second page don't click anything here just press download and it's gonna take a while i don't know why it takes a while then the first one that says SCP Toolkit Setup EXE that says 22M, don't click that. Click the second one that says Download Anyway. Then it's gonna show. Sometimes it shows stuff of like this might be harmful to your laptop. Da, da, da. It's actually not harmful. I've been using it forever. After you download it, you go to the file. You just double click. Then you press Next. Then you see this things with the Visual C++. I'm gonna click it but it's not gonna work yet it's gonna make me download the visual c++ and this is the problem that most of you guys have your laptop doesn't have the proper s the proper what you call this c++ Some prerequisites could not be downloaded. Maybe you can try to remove them from the prerequisite list. So it gave a problem when I was trying to download it. Then I'm clicking on the other two that just says, like when you click on it, it says install. But I'm unchecking those two, then checking the two that says download. Then we try this one. Ah, this is the one that it doesn't have. Um, okay, that's the one it doesn't have. So the ones that says install, and those are the one, ones we're gonna install. Unless it needs all four, but it normally just needs two, the 64 and the 82, I think. Yeah, the 64. Redistributable, <laughs> and the 84. That should be, yeah, 86. Sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Then you go here, you choose the location you want, okay? Then you say, I agree. Then next, then just press install. And you click finish. You don't need this anymore. You don't need this anymore. Hello? Okay, he didn't come to the home screen. Why is well, like apps? Okay. okay, we're just gonna type SCP toolkit installer. This is the main one you need. Normally, like on the side. Over here is gonna like pop up everything, but it didn't. And wait, actually, before you open it up, remember that has to be the strike pack uh, has to be in your controller properly and it has to be plugged into the controller and in the PC before you actually open up this the SCP toolkit. Unless the wireless part that we need is not gonna show, so I'm gonna press no and we're gonna go again and say. SCP toolkit installer now it's gonna open and this computer has never had anything to do with strike pack or SCP toolkit before so it's basically like low-key brand new but not brand new like that then the first two install install we don't need this because it's not DualShock 3 then we need the four some people in your video say force download but it doesn't actually do anything then look 
this is it wireless power uh then two wireless sometimes it's right under each other and like on my computer it's like a bit far then you just press install then that's it then it should pop up here properly one two and it should say successful Inst complete the uh, installing driver uh. but for you guys you get errors here on the side is because your computer doesn't have the proper visual c plus plus and i told you guys how to download it in the other video link in the description for that one da -da 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 -da. might take a few minutes but i guess it does this when like it's the first 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 time of installing scp toolkit it takes a while i don't know why I don't know what's happening i'm gonna try it all over again because it was taking too long i don't know if it's because the controller is connected like with mine or something because i use mine only with this specific controller with the scp toolkit that's why it took so long to install but i'm gonna try once again wireless wireless install if that's the case then i'll use a different controller ah it worked okay so it got installed some of you guys say when you install it you can't use it in game look when it's installed it's supposed to show a blue light sometimes it blinks orange and for you guys you say it doesn't work when it blinks orange there's no fortnite on this specific computer but i think it has another game where i can like show that it's actually working because it can show the blue light but the paddles is not working which is the main part of the whole video so guys for me i normally use uh, x or a because it's X, like when you connect the stripe back it shows xbox you guys complain but there's actually nothing you can do about that then like x is to pass obviously but for me x is connected to this one so i'm gonna press this one and it's gonna pass so i connected uh o to this pedal this is what o does i'm supposed to pass to the person but when i click it also it does the same thing so it is connected the only thing is it's gonna show xbox instead of playstation is because they did it like that and like pc hasn't put like the ps4 settings like everything what pc has to do with xbox even when you go to the settings it's xbox when it comes to like the controller that's why it automatically goes to xbox not playstation don't know why playstation didn't put it and there was a way to change it before in fortnite but fortnite took out the option so it's just xbox xbox and i already made a video how to change the share button because when you use the strike back for the first time it's gonna change the share and the d-pad like it's gonna switch it i don't know why but the video to how to change it is in the description i hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe